I launched bookmarks. If you become a patron from now until September 16th, you will receive one of these in the mail along with a personalized letter from me. If you become a patron on any of the tiers, I have a whole video explaining it. What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. My name is Alex. This is my channel Pucks and Paperbacks and today I am going to be talking about my TBR for the Slapshot Readathon. If you missed a couple weeks ago, I announced my readathon, the Slapshot Readathon, which is themed around hockey, but the point is not to read hockey books. That is totally optional. It is to just celebrate sports and to just read for fun. And I am going to share with you my TBR. I am going to be reading some hockey books, but like I said, you don't have to. We have a story graph reading challenge. There are two giveaways. And so I will have my announcement video linked up here so you can go and watch it if you missed it or you just need to watch it. For the giveaway, there is an Instagram giveaway where you can win a hockey puck bookmark if you live in the US, Puerto Rico, or Canada. And this requires for you to participate in one or more of the photo challenges on Instagram. There's also an international giveaway, which is a $15 book of your choice to either the book depository if you live outside of the US or a bookshop if you live in the US. And I will be letting you pick one of your favorite independent bookstores to purchase from. I talk about all of the other rules in my announcement video, so don't forget to go over there. And if you are participating in that giveaway, you have to comment on that video. And I talk about that more in the video, so don't forget to do that. The readathon starts on Wednesday the 15th and ends on Tuesday the 21st. And both of the giveaways will start on the 15th through Rafflecopter, so you have to fill out the Rafflecopter to be entered. So make sure you are following me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks and at Slapshot Readathon so you can be informed. I am also going to be hosting reading sprints on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern, and to end the readathon on Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. All of those videos are already up for you to set a reminder, so don't forget to do that. And I hope you will join me for the readathon. Let's get into my TBR. The first book I'm going to read is Anna on the Edge by AJ Sass, and this is for the challenge five hole to read a five star prediction. I predict I'll give this a five star because a lot of my friends who have read it have given it a five star and I'm not very picky when I'm reading books so I feel like I'm really going to enjoy this one. It is about a non-binary character just exploring her gender and it is about figure skating and I'm really excited to read it. I only have two physical books on my TBR so the next one is Jordan Tutu by Melanie Florence and this is about the first Inuit NHL player and this is for the challenges sweater to read a book while you have some sort of sports thing. This challenge is really up to your interpretation. I will probably be either wearing one of my hockey shirts or this jersey. I have a couple jerseys so you'll just have to see what I do in my vlog. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss out on anything about the readathon and for any other videos I'm actually going to be posting a lot more hockey book related content so look out for that and turn on my bell notification so you don't miss a video. Um, but this I'm very excited about. I read Melanie Florence's book He Who Dreams in January when I had Bookopoly pick my TBR and I read it because the January buzzwordathon word was dream and I really enjoyed that book so I'm excited to read this one. I saw it on Thrift Books and I bought it a couple months ago because I saw it was written by her and I was like so excited. Um, and this is also for the challenge Wayne Gretzky to read a nonfiction book. This book is similar to some of the books that I read in my video where I read books with my name in the title and I read a Alex Ovechkin book and this is a little bit similar but it is very short. It's only 96 pages so I am going to read it while I'm wearing one of my hockey items. Um, but that challenge is really up to your own interpretation. Someone commented on my announcement video saying that they got a wooden baseball bat, like a mini one, 
and they're going to use it as a bookmark. So you can really just use this challenge however you would like. Um, but I'm very excited to read this because I don't know much about Jordan Tutu, but I have heard his name before and I'm excited to learn more about him. Now moving on to the books that I don't physically have. I have some audiobooks and ebooks. The audiobook is Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeline Booley. This book is for the challenge Selly to read an anticipated read and Hattrick to read a book where three is significant. I have chosen this because it is my anticipated read. I have been wanting to read it ever since I heard about it and someone told me it had hockey in it and that I would love it. And I am choosing it for Hattrick because it came out in March, which is the third month of the year. Um, I'm very excited to read this. I will link some Indigenous reviewers down below. This is an Indigenous book and it is pitched as Indigenous Nancy Drew. I was just watching a video where the author is interviewed on Good Morning America, so I'll link that down below. But I am super excited to read this book. I have an audiobook from Libro FM. Then for the challenge pond slash pipe to read a book where there is a hockey stick, a hockey puck, or a hockey net on the cover. This is Michigan vs. the Boys by Carrie S. Allen and this has a hockey net on the cover and it is about a girl named Michigan and the girls hockey team gets cut and so she has to join the boys team and I've heard a lot of good things about it and I'm very excited. I have it on my Kindle. And the last book I'm going to read is for the challenge Zamboni and this is to read a graphic novel or you can also read a comic. And I have found a hockey non-fiction graphic novel on Hoopla. A lot of the books I mentioned in this video are on Hoopla so if you're still building your TBR and you have access to Hoopla through your library I would recommend to use Hoopla for the readathon. It will really help you if you are reading hockey. Lake Placid Miracle um when u.s hockey stunned the world and i believe it's nonfiction. i don't really know anything about the lake placid miracle so i'm excited to read it and that is my tbr for the slapshot readathon don't forget to watch my announcement video and hit subscribe if you haven't also if you want to help support the channel and support the readathon you can become a patron on my patreon for only one dollar or i have a coffee link down below if you would like to just tip me and help me out with the readathon all of the giveaways will be funded through my patreon and through coffee if you do donate to me. So that is it for my video today. I will see you all on Wednesday with my first reading sprints for the readathon and on Friday for another video. I have changed up my upload schedule from Monday and Saturday and now it will be Monday and Friday. So I'll see you on Wednesday or I'll see you on Friday. Bye.